family now welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we have empties so you will notice uh, like the background is quite different from my previous videos what i'm trying to do is is doing something different i am trying to find a position in here that gives me a bit of depth because uh, it helps with focusing and things like that so i'm usually filming in the spare bedroom uh, it's not a very big room so the bed kind of like takes up the whole of the space so i'm just trying to figure out the best uh, setup so um, currently I'm facing my prints that I usually see on, in my videos um, so if this works I might move my prints over there um, so yeah just so you know why things are different <laughs> if you're new here hi I'm a lover of beauty and makeup um, I do try to upload about once a week uh, sometimes even twice a week but I do not have a set upload schedule however I would love it if you check out my other videos and consider subscribing once you've watched this one so when it comes to empties i don't do these regularly if you'd like to see monthly empties uh, let me know they're not difficult to film and to edit at all um and i once i do monthly empties i can include maybe more lifestyle products like laundry detergents and things like that you just let me know in the comments if you're interested in things like that so how i do it at the minute is once i have enough empties to talk about i do a video and right now I have enough empties to talk about. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with toiletries. I have the Dr. Tears Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution in the Eucalyptus and Spearmint scent. I enjoyed this one. I think I do prefer the lavender scent, but I enjoy this one nonetheless. Um, yeah, quite nice. And then also the Wesla Bath Salt and White Willow and eucalyptus and arnica i think that's how you pronounce it um i got epsom mineral salts i haven't enjoyed these ones as much as the dr teal's ones i think these ones don't uh, dissolve very well in water um so yeah they need a little bit more help to get them dissolved so i much prefer dr teal's over west lab as I said, I don't do monthly empties, so for that reason, I do not keep every single shower gel and every single shampoo. I do keep the ones that I like the most, uh, and I kept this one because I mentioned in my last uh, empty, <laughs> I think it was my last empties, um, which is the natural stew in one, Avon natural stew in one shampoo and conditioner with vitamin complex. Um, and they're discontinuing this one. Uh, recently got 300 bottles just to keep me going. <laughs> Um, because they're discontinuing the entire range of shampoos from uh, Naturals. It's one of my favorites. It leaves my hair soft and clean. Uh, I use it as, as a shampoo, not as a conditioner, by the way, because I do have fine hair. Uh, it tends to get greasy. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy the shampoo. Then I have from Garnier the Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food with Banana and Shea. Um, this one smells amazing oh my goodness it, it's it still smells oh smells so so nice i absolutely adore the smell of banana <laughs> so i have really enjoyed this one i do want to pick another one up uh, once i finish all my um other treatments and leave-in treatments and things like that um and i'm really enjoying the packaging there's something so so satisfying about big tubs like this isn't it or is it just me <laughs> um yeah but I have really enjoyed this one. Speaking of hair, I've also finished the Abeda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. Um, again, really, really nice. Uh, enjoy the packaging. I got this through Latest in Beauty. A little bit pricey for me to repurchase, but if I see it on offer or it's available through a subscription box or collection box, then I will definitely consider it. The first one is from Lidl. It's just a roll-on, anti and roll-on. Um, yeah, quite like this one, works well. Oh, and also I have from the Bougie line, Lounge the Bougie Bath Whip. This was in the Arabian Mermaid scent. Um, this was nice and different. Um, I could see uh, buying these as maybe a gift. If you don't know what to give people, this would make really lovely gifts. Because they smell really nice and they're just so different that uh, you can scoop them out and use them either as a soap or as a shampoo or a body wash or even bubble bath although it doesn't froth very well um, but I, I enjoyed it mostly as a body wash I have used it as a shampoo once as well and works all right um, but yeah it's quite different and interesting so okay dry shampoos I have one from Batiste and one from Cien 
which is the little brand. Um, this is just as good as this. Obviously, it's a lot cheaper. Um, so this I got in a collection box. This obviously I bought from Lidl. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a Batiste dupe, then just get the little one. Okay, so let's move on to cleansers. So first one is the Blackhead Clearing Soothing Exfoliating Cleanser with aloe vera and caramel extract from Clear Skin by Avon. I actually didn't use this as a cleanser. Um, if you watched my latest, um, not my latest one, one of my Avon hauls, I'll have to check which one and, and link it down below. Uh, but if you watched it, you'll see that I have repurchased this, not to use as a cleanser, but to use as a body scrub uh, for keratocystic lice. <laughs> Um, because I found it works really well for that, especially if you follow up with something moisturizing. So yeah, that's what it's been used for. And I have this micellar water from Polar um, in Ice Pure. No fragrance to it, which was really nice. And the um, micellar water itself was really nice as well. It worked re very well for removing makeup, which is what you want. Um, yeah, I really like this. And then the last cleanser is the Matte Fluffy Fl Fluffy Foam Cleanser, almost a fluffy foam, <laughs> which is ideal for combination and oily skin. I have combination skin, so it works really well for me. And what I like about it is that um, I personally don't need any other tools to remove my makeup with. Just do a couple of pumps, scrub my face, so to speak, just slather on my face uh, and then rinse. Um, if I have heavy eye makeup, I find that I need another go at it, but um, I don't know, it works really well and I mostly use it in the shower for that reason. I also do very well for traveling. I finished the daily microfolian from Dermalogica. This is just a travel size. Um, I like this and I didn't like it at the same time. Uh, what I liked about it is that you can control exactly how uh, fine or big you want your exfoliating beads to be because you just shake it into your hand, add a bit of water and just mix it in and then apply to your face. So if you add more water, it will be finer. If you add less water, it will be more gritty if you want. The, the uh, exfoliating part of it will be bigger. If that makes any sense, I have no clue how to explain this. However, once you add water to it, it changes the scent of it, and I can't stand the scent of it. Um, and I guess it can get a little bit messy, but I didn't find that too much of an issue. It's just the scent of it. I really didn't enjoy it, so I will not pick this again if it's in a subscription box, because I did pick it through Latest in Beauty. I also have the Glow Tonic from Pixie. This, again, was the Latest in Beauty pick. Uh, it's a 100 mil size. This one was fine during the summer, during the winter it dried my skin like crazy. Um, so this 100ml size actually took a very long time to finish for that reason. Um, seems alright, um, but I've just learned that I need to use it only now and again. I recently got a couple of sa samples uh, from Rituals. The Ritual Namaste, so we had the Glow Radiance Anti-Aging Serum and the Glow Radiance Anti-Aging Day Cream. I enjoyed these two samples, um, they sunk very nicely into the skin and felt moisturizing enough. So the scent uh, was just nice and fresh, not very strong, so yeah, they were nice, these samples. And then I have from Elizabeth Arden, the Ceramide Capsules Daily Youth Restoring S Serum and... Oh, what do you... Okay, and then the ceramide capsules with hyaluronic acid. Um, I think I enjoyed this ones a little bit more, but I found them quite greasy for my skin. I think I only need about half a capsule for each of these. I wouldn't pick these again for that reason. Also from Elizabeth Arden, I got this through Soul Post, uh, which is kind of like a sample service. Um, it's the I don't I'm not sure exactly how you would read this properly would you read it the french way or the english way so if you read it the french way it's privage if you read it the english way it's gonna be privage <laughs> i'm guessing it's a combination of words between preventing aging um it's an anti-aging i oh, it's an anti-aging daily serum again this felt quite greasy maybe it's just elizabeth harden products that tend to be a little bit more greasy um so hmm. 
was a bit meh. I finished two of these samples from Cetaphil Daily Defense Moisturizer, um, which I got through Ladies to Beauty as a member reward. I got three of this last month and again three this month. So I finished two of these. I quite enjoyed this. Um, they are the kind that go white on your face, but as you massage it in, it sinks into your skin and at least on my skin tone doesn't leave a white cast and then just leaves behind a nice glow they don't feel particularly moisturizing i think they'll be okay during the summer but during the winter i'll probably need another moisturizer uh, before using this one but i'm not i've really enjoyed this okay this is a product that you can tell that i've really really enjoyed because i cut to make sure i get every single bit out of it unfortunately this is now discontinued in the uk which is the new solar advance ultra matte anti-aging sun protection with spf 50 and i find this one really good for both moisturizing and giving sun protection because it sinks into the skin very well so i found it um that i could put enough on my skin to make sure that i get as much spf from yeah, as possible. Uh, so I really enjoy this. I am sad that they've discontinued it, but it is what it is. Another little sample. This is the Aven Clenance Expert, uh, which is for um, blemishes. Yeah, this is for mild to moderate blemishes. And I found them really good, really good for blemishes. Um, whenever I had like a few spots coming through, I would use this and it would calm them down a little bit. So yeah. Really good okay from bright skincare I had a night cream and I'm really I have really really enjoyed this one I have enjoyed the scent the cream itself the packaging uh, it's one of those pumps and you kind of like an air pump and also because it's clear I could see how much I had left by the time you finish the bottle you kind of know how many pumps you have left before you need a new moisturizer or a new bottle so I have really enjoyed this one. The only um, downfall to this kind of packaging, I suppose, is that it's difficult to recycle, um, but it is very functional. So I have enjoyed it for that reason. And then from Save, I have the Rejuvenated moistur Moisturizer. Um, I have got this through Ladies and Beauty and I like this so much that I picked another bottle, which I'm using at the minute. So yeah. I have really enjoyed this one. I think it has plant retinol in, so if I do use it during the day, I make sure that I have a good layer of SPF on. Last in the skincare category, I have the Radiant Gold Face Mask from Avon's Planet Spa. Um, really nice. It's one of those peel-off masks, so it's quite um, entertaining to use as well. But yeah, nice mask. Okay, I have an item that doesn't really fit in anywhere maybe like household item which is the feather and down sweet dreams pillow spray this is one of those sprays that's a little bit more mellow so i have really enjoyed this one um i quite recommend this one it comes in a 50 ml size um yeah so i like this one okay, and then perfume i only have two so i have a little sample from replica which is the lazy sunday morning and this is an absolutely lovely scent and um yeah i was lucky enough that i got a 30 ml bottle for my birthday so i am continuing to enjoy the scent <laughs> and then from avon i have finished the scent mix scent mix and vibrant fruity um yeah this one is fruity but but still some freshness to it and it's another toilet um and i quite enjoy these little of the toilets the little scent mixes um I like this one and then my favorite one is Ocean Mix I think it's called or something Ocean um, which is very fresh and airy so you can just use it anytime. Hey everyone Irina from the future here. I've decided to make this empties video into two parts so I'm going to end part one here. Um, I think it was getting a little bit too long and it's a little bit too much information at least it was for me and was I was editing this um, to put into just one video. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna end part one here. Part two is coming soon and it will be makeup. Uh, there is something that's not makeup in there but I put it all together because uh, they're all the same brand and I wanted to talk about that brand. So that's coming in part two. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you've used any of the products that I've mentioned in this video today, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought of them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you in my next video in part two. Bye.